I'm here to show you how to become a great salesperson. Coming up. How long have you been struggling with sales? You probably have an idea of the sales strategies, but unfortunately, you are not applying what we guarantee you as a great sales person. You are frustrated with your outputs. By the way, my name is Chino Safa from Go for Growth Media, where we show you how to grow your business, build your influence, increase your revenue, and other YouTube related stuff. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our new videos. To frame it best, to become a great salesperson, you have to remember that people want to do business with people they like and respect. At the end of the day, while you may be selling to a customer, what you are really doing is looking to earn their trust. As Canning said, it's about learning how to win friends and influence people. Most people in sales forget that it's enthusiasm that carries your message the farthest. Oftentimes, people don't buy into your product or service as much as they buy into the person who is selling it to them. Which means, as a salesperson, it's your job to place the same passion the CEO or founder of a company would when talking about the business. But let me make something very clear here. Enthusiasm is not the same as winning it. I can't stress on this enough. In business, winning it, it's never an option. You and I know that knowledge is power, which means if you are about to make a sales pitch, if you are about to explain your idea to a potential partner, if you are about to do anything involving the future and good heads of your company, then you need to be as knowledgeable as possible about every possible variables. Where most sales people go wrong is they think that enthusiasm alone will make up for their lack of knowledge. I'm sure you can think of a time or two when a very energetic door knocker stood on your stool and explained to you all the benefits of some meaningless thing. The more you know about your product, your markets, your competition, the more leverage you have. And honestly, this doesn't just apply to business and sales, but everything in life. True insight mix with enthusiasm is far more effective. While you may well have all the skills required, to be a good salesperson, your ultimate success will be determined by your ability to put these into practice. We will give you 5 tips to help you on your way to becoming a great salesperson. 1. Think long term. The best sales professionals do not focus purely on making a sales. They look to build a long term relationship. You want your customers and clients to trust you and come back to you time and time again. Go the extra mile with your customer by following up after a sales to make sure they are happy with the product and service they receive. This is the sort of things many sales people don't bother with. Doing so will make you stand out. Once you have positioned yourself as an expert, you will also find your customers recommend you to others thinking about building your relationship and your business in this way therefore sets you up for long-term success two is invest your time wisely productivity is so important in sales many sales professionals will waste their time on activities that ultimately lead little or no return you need to be of a mindset to accurately analyze the values of every call or meeting. Only spend time on tasks that will tell you something useful, either for the immediate or distant future. The best sales professionals treat their role as more than just jobs. You need to be devoted to growing your business and have a hunger to fight out everything you can about both your existing and potential client. 
you also need to be prepared to give up your spare time networking is so important to developing relationship three know and believe in your product sales people should believe in the product they are selling if you aren't convinced yourself how can you expect to persuade others of its value a key factor underpinning this is your knowledge you need to know everything about the product both good and bad points and have every base covered in terms of the questions you are likely to be asked in particular you need to know the exact needs the product addresses and be able to tailor these according to your clients to make it relevant to them four know your markets inside and outside never never think you know everything about your markets there's always more to learn the best sales professionals not only know their own product inside and out or back and front they also know everything about their competitors and what they offer armed with this knowledge you can make sure you prepare for any difficult question from your clients in addition you should always stay on top of the latest news in the market as a company posted positive results which may be interested in your products with economic conditions tough and many businesses struggling any lead of this nature should be explored at the same time how do any developments in the market affect your job has legislation been implemented that will make it easier or harder have your competitor updated or created a new product offering you need to react to these changes quickly and effectively to ensure you stay on top of the game five think of failure as an opportunity you will work on a deal that failed it's inevitable but what's important is how you react to this disappointment in fact you should look at failure as a way to close a deal as an investment for the future what have you learned how can you apply these to make success more likely next time could you go back to the clients in the future when they may be more interested in your products at all these points we set you up for long-term success so if you find this video interesting hit the red subscribe button and the notification bell